How's it going guys and girls, it's Signature here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be remaking the Gmod server hosting video I uploaded to my channel a while ago. The reason I'm going to be re-uploading this video is because I had music playing in the background last time, which made it difficult for other people to hear me and understand me, which made them complain. Now I want to be a person that helps people get their server up and running, not someone who makes it difficult or 10 times harder for people to get their server running. I haven't done this in a while, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to remember every single detail, but I'll try my best and try and get you guys up and running with a really good server. At the end of this video guys, if you want, if you have any other questions that I haven't answered or anything that I haven't mentioned or just need some genuine help, I'm more than happy to help you out. Just leave a comment in the section below or message me through YouTube if you have that option. Okay, so let's get into it. From what I remember, there's two different ways about getting your server. The first first one I'm going to say is paying. Now, paying isn't as bad as it sounds. If you're someone who doesn't work and has no income, then yeah, okay, it might be that bad. Uh, in which case, I suggest temporarily running a free server which I'm going to be going into more detail about after this getting yourself a donation system up and running and hopefully you'll get some donations rolling in which can help you pay for a server paying for a server you get user friendly content DDoS protection so your server is nice and safe first class of support so literally the customer service is amazing especially if you're running your servers in my last video, I recommended going with Nitrous Networks. Please do not listen to that video. It's in the past now. Nitrous Networks is terrible. Their customer service is horrendous. And training servers is a lot cheaper as well. Uh, freebies such as free web hosting. Locations, there's a few. Scattered. I mean, if you're in America, there's two there. One in England and one in France. Anyway, when you come to here, just go to ga game servers. Sorry, and there's many different games, just Gary's Mod, Minecraft, Count CSS, CSGO, Team Fortress 2. For this, we're going to go for Gary's Mod. Once you're here, you can read through all this if you want, but this is what we want to look at 37p per slot. That's extremely cheap. I think with uh, Nitrous Networks it's about 45p to 50p a slot. Um, this is very flexible, the way that you have to pay, configure. Choose your billing cycle you can pay. You can choose to pay monthly. Uh, you can choose to pay once every three months, once every six months, or once a year. And if you ask me, that's very flexible. You can choose how many, how many plays you want from 10 to 120. So for now we're going to go about, sorry, going for about 10. Uh, location is in England, France and Canada, which I believe is in America, I'm not very good for geography. Voice server is basically like Skype. If you have a couple of friends that you're going to be hosting the server with, and you want someone private to talk instead of actually in-game, then I recommend getting a voice server. I mean, 10 slots for £2, that's pretty good. However, if you have Skype, just use Skype, it's exactly the same, and Skype is free anyway. DDoS protection is free, so just tick that. Doesn't cost anything extra. Um, if you're like me with OCD and you want to pay, instead of paying £3.70, you want to pay exactly £5. I believe it's 14 players and you can get for £5.18 or 13 players and you can get it for £4.81. It's very flexible. Hostname and icon password is simply the username and century 2k15 we'll put. Um, imagine this is username and password, not hostname and password. This is basically giving what gives you access to the control panel. So you can start your server, stop your server, restart your server, upload files, do this, do that, add add-ons, add mods, add maps. That's basically your pride and joy right there. So make sure when you do this and enter it all, you write it down so someone's safe so you don't forget it. Once you're happy with everything, just click the checkout button. 
they will ask you for some information like your first name, last name, address, code and all this and all that. They won't use the information against you, it's just for security reasons, I could be wrong but there you go. Um, anyway, so you can pay by credit card or PayPal. I'm sorry I don't have a promotional code, I, if I did I'll give it to all of you, but it's cheap anyway so you don't really need a promotional code. So yeah, that's the first way of doing it, and the Serenity servers guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description below because I highly recommend going with them. The next um, way of getting your server, which I said earlier, is using the freeway, uh, Steam CMD. Now, as I said in my last video, I'm not sure if anyone could hear me, I did also post a caption. I wouldn't recommend the freeway, especially if you have no idea what you're doing and you're just following blindly. Using the freeway will use your computer's IP address for everyone to connect to. So it will basically be saying, hi, look, this is my IP address, everybody. For those of you who do not know what my IP address is, it stands for Internet Protocol Address. It's basically like your computer's home address, like your home address right now We're in the house that you're sitting in, if you're sitting in your house. People who really know what they're doing and want to be very dodgy, they can track your computer down and find out exactly where it is in the world, where you live and blah blah blah, but that's only if they really, really know what they're doing and why they want to do that in the first place, a complete stranger who they've never met. I don't know. Just saying, better safe than sorry. Anyway, for those of you who don't get any income, then yeah, okay, just use this. It will be temporary. Get yourself some donations rolling in once you've got yourself a server set up, and then you'll be able to go to shrink your servers and pay monthly. Anyway, Steam SimD supports all three um, operating systems Linux, Lin bleh, Windows, Linux, and Mac, which is OS X. I'm using Windows, so you click on that. It says download Steam CMD for Windows. You click on the link and you'll download a zip file. I'll leave WinRAR in the link below, but you should need WinRAR to extract the file. Or if you're using a Mac, I'll leave a link in the description below of how to do the exact same thing because Win WinRAR, I believe, does not work for Mac. So that's the free way of getting Steam CMD. Once you open up the file, it's all pretty straightforward from there. Now that's your server up and running, that's the first step done, well done guys, give yourself a pat on the back because there's a lot more to come. If you want to get money rolling in, get some donations coming in, you're going to need some more add-ons for your server to make it more pretty, give it a better appearance and bring some more people in. I would recommend, first thing you get is point shop, I'll leave a link in the description for this as well, on the right here you just go download zip and it will be up here in your downloads. You just upload that to your, fo uh, your files and you're done. I believe the file location is Gary's Mod Add-ons. That simple. Just slap it in there and it's done. Once you have your point shop, uh, I recommend fishing on the internet for extra costumes like skins you can wear. You can get like, if you go on to the Steam Workshop, you can get yourself some Halo skins or anything, really, Naruto skins, anime skins, anything. You can get yourself extra guns, you can get yourself power ups, you can get yourself trails. There's lots of stuff you can get. You can also configure all the prices in the actual files. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to do all that. Um, I'd recommend also getting some maps and getting a map vote system. You can purchase map vote systems. I've got mine for Fiverr. If you would like me to give you my map vote, I'll be more than happy to send it to you. Just give me a message and I'll send you the file, which I believe I still have. Let me have a look. I'm going to do this for you guys because I'm so nice, if I remember. Uh, I think I might have lost it. I have low. I still have like the scoreboard and everything here. So if you guys get stuck and you just really, really want your server looking good, like mine used to, I'll be more than happy just to lend you some of the stuff that I have, like Point Shop Master Two, 
push up master donation system here uh, loads of things we've got yeah that's it there's the uh, vote system there loads of vote systems I've got lots and lots and lots of stuff here so over 700 add-ons everything so if anyone needs any help or if you want any support just let me know and I'll be more than happy to lend you some add-ons from here. Okay, as I said earlier guys, if you ever need any help just post a comment in the section below or send me a message. I'll also leave my Skype name in the description below. Good luck everyone and hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.